Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are filming with the vault. This has been quite a hot topic lately, so I had to get my hands on it, had to try it out for you guys. I did not have the first one. Uh, this is the second one. They did push the release date back because they had a formula issue, pressing issue, whatever it was. I think at one point it was both, I don't know. When they re-released this and everything was good to go, I did pick this up and I have swatched everything already, but this was the first time I played around with it on my eyes. So this is the look that I came up with. I used the Dark Magic palette mainly for this look and I dipped into another one. I keep forgetting the names. I think it was Armed and Gorgeous, maybe, yeah. Um, I used a little bit of Armed and Gorgeous. I used this color right here to kind of help me blend my dark green shadow. And this was the one that I mainly did my look with. This was the palette that I wanted out of all of them, which might be kind of shocking because people are like, cool tones. But um, I'm very into cool tones. I don't use them all the time. When I saw that, it really spoke to me. So that this palette is like pretty much the whole reason I got this vault. So that's what I use today. If this is the first time you're on my channel, what's up and welcome. My name is Kate. I'd love for you guys to click subscribe and join my YouTube family. The little button's down there. Also, don't forget to ring the bell. Subscribing is not as easy as it used to be. You have to subscribe and you also have to ring the bell. <laughs> so don't forget to do that. And uh, yeah, that's it. So if you guys want to see this look and my thoughts on the vault then just keep watching this has sparked some controversy here my goodness i was not expecting it to be so dramatical so i will say i've already swatched every single color in this vault off camera but i kind of wanted to talk to you guys about that for a second i feel like people are so quick to like cancel a palette if it swatches bad and I'm not sure when we started basing how good an eyeshadow was about how it looked on your hand. Last time I checked, we wear eyeshadows on our eyes. All I'm saying is we are here today to try it on our eyes and then we will decide if this is good or bad. So we are just going to try out some of these palettes. I know there was also a thing about the batch codes and where you bought it. So just to like put this out there, I don't regularly receive Morphe PR. They send me stuff every once in a while, but I don't necessarily get every single new launch that has ever come out. I purchased this with my own money. I don't have the original vault to compare this to. So it's supposedly repressed. That's my understanding. I know there was like some talk about where you buy it and what you were getting. Some people are claiming if you purchased the vault at Ulta, you're getting the old palette, the non-repressed or revamped version. I can't imagine they would do that, but I don't know. This one is the Bling Boss. This particular color blew my freaking mind. This one is stunning. All of the colors are gorgeous. I have to be honest, the mattes swatched terribly, but again, you wear them on your eyes. So we'll just see how they apply on our eyes. All of the shimmers swatched gorgeously, beautifully. Whatever. I was most excited about this palette and I have to be honest, this one swatched the worst. So I'm hoping that it looks really great on the eyes, but this is the Dark Magic palette. This green, this green, this navy was just really speaking to me. I also thought this one was stunning. I loved these like kind of mustardy tones. This one just screamed fall to me. So I was really excited about this one too. Probably the Armed and Gorgeous and Dark Magic were the two that I was most excited about. Um, there also is, the last one is Ring the Alarm. And I thought this one was also really, really gorgeous. As much as I love this palette, I don't feel like purples look very good on me. I have to do them in a very specific way. I just feel like they make my eyes look too intense and like creepy almost. I'm gonna start out with the obvious choice here. There's quite a bit of uh, powder and kickback. But the other thing I wanna say, I feel like people are so quick to be dramatic about things like that. You guys need to realize that if you want color payoff, there's gonna be a little bit of kickback. If you want like no kickback, you're gonna be sitting here complaining about how the eyeshadow sucks and there's no pigment. So you've gotta learn to live with a little bit of kickback, okay? Here we go. We're going into the crease with the color sh so far that looks nice. I'm not mad at it. I'm a little bit nervous because I haven't really done anything with cool tones lately. So I'm sitting here like, am I gonna 
do. So, so far, I'm not having any trouble with this. Another topic of concern is the kickback that I've seen people talking about. Personally, for me, I don't go in with a heavy hand. When I'm going in to touch a color, this is literally what I do. Wait, there we go. Sorry, I'm doing this backwards. When I pick up color, that's what I do. I don't go in and swirl the brush around. There's nothing wrong with doing that, but you have to realize if you are a swirler, you're gonna get significantly more kickback and fallout and mess. I'm just, I'm a dabber. This is building up really nicely. I do wish there was like one warmer color in here, just, just one warmer color. I might dip into another palette quickly just to get a little bit more of a warm gradient. Because even when I am doing a cool toned look, I like to have a warmer transition. All right, I'm gonna go into this palette and take this color, Agent. I'm noticing that these are like so pigmented that I am being super light handed on my eye with it. Like I feel like I'm hardly even touching my eye. Take that as you will. That could be good or bad depending on who you are. I feel like it is blending nice though. Part of the struggle is just knowing what you're working with. Like if you're getting into a color that's giving you that much powder, you gotta realize there's gonna be a lot of pigment on your brush. So you probably don't wanna press as hard as you normally would with something else. All right, so I am noticing this right here is just a little bit patchy, but I don't know if that's just my skin or if that's the eyeshadow, because I'm gonna be honest, my skin is so dry right now. I don't know what is going on. This is the one that I really wanted to mess around with, this mossy green color. It is called Potion. After dipping into several of these, these, these do feel different than her original palette. I'm not really sure why. They are a little bit more powdery, which we've already established. Okay. It's not like, I don't know if it's because of the color that I'm applying it over. It's not showing up super green. That's all right though. The key, I think, is to be very light-handed with this palette. That's just what it comes down to. All right, now that I kind of have that down, it's looking, I don't wanna to speak too soon, but it is looking a little patchy. I don't know if that's just because it's a cool tone or if it's because that's how the shadow is. I'm applying more of that uh, orangey agent color around it to kind of blur the edges. I'm just now realizing that these two colors are super similar, the greens. I just dunked into Top Secret when I was using Potion, so. I mean, you guys, so far I'm not mad at it. I'm definitely having to be a little more careful than like other palettes, even Jaclyn's other palette, which you guys know I use the fire out of that. That is literally my go-to palette for everything. Um, so, I feel like I would be a good person to tell you that it is applying different because I am so, so used to using her other palette. Like I said, not terrible. I do prefer the other formula though, whatever that is. All right, I'm gonna blend this edge with some more of this agent color. And kind of warm it up. Even when I do cool toned looks, I always have to give it like a warm edge just what has to happen. Like look how lightly, I wish you guys could see, like I'm going so light. This navy color is like really calling my name. I am going to kind of, ooh, like that. I am patting this in with a concealer brush. <laughs> Looks so dumb right now. Let's blend and see what happens. So I'm just kind of taking that into that green color and I'm using the same brush that I was using the green with so it kind of blends. I'm losing the green though because this is such a bright color. All right, this one is looking patchy. It's not like the worst I've ever seen but it's also not the best. We're starting to have some issues. This blue is like blending way too high and I'm trying to get it soft. I will say I'm not having very much fallout at all though, like on my cheeks, so I'm happy about that. Okay, something needs to happen on this corner. I'm not exactly sure what just yet, but I'm gonna do this on the side too. Next, I'm gonna go into this color, this emerald green. She's real pretty. I am actually just gonna use my finger because that's what I like to do. 
And I'm just putting this right here, kind of blending it, trying to blend it into that navy color. And they're actually not looking that different, which is very strange. The navy is like starting to look blue now that I have this color on. That's okay, we're just gonna go with it. I guess that's what this look wanted to be. I really love using my fingers when I put makeup on. That's why half the time I never have long nails because I cannot do this when I have long nails. Ooh, she is smoky. I haven't done a smoky eye. Wow, a long, long time. Especially not a green one. I'm feeling so fall. Okay, so this is just kind of like blending into the blue. There's not um, a lot of separation between the emerald color and the blue. Now I feel like I need to go back in right here and blend. My eyes are like different shapes. This one is like way more open than this one. So the shape always goes a little more like straight right here, whereas this eye always goes a little bit more round. I'm gonna go back in with that color Agent and we're gonna just kind of go right above this and warm it up and kind of blend her out. Okay, now I need to figure out my inner corner. These are the two colors that I would probably go for in this palette. These are the other. I'm kind of thinking this one. This is in the Armed and Gorgeous palette. All right, in the spirit of Morphe, I'm gonna spray my brush. Ooh, not a lot happening. Okay, I'm really having to like dig into this color. There we go. That was like some work though, let me tell you. Okay, this shadow sucks. It's chunky. It's not going on smooth. Oh, it's tragic because it's such a pretty color. I don't think you guys are seeing what I'm seeing on camera. When I'm digging into this, like nothing is happening. So it's like if you work with it too much, it starts to get really chunky. So I'm kind of like afraid to do too much with this. Yeah, it's like you cannot work with this one too much. Look how this one, it's like even kind of settling in the creases. This is not a cute color. Let's see what the other palettes have to offer. Possible contender. Man, that's a bummer. I need a bronze because I don't think going straight gold would look wonderful with this look. This one's a little bit more like orangey, so I might go that route. That's too gold. Even though this is not what I wanted to do for this look, I think I am gonna go in with this one right here. See, that one's just like a whole different situation. Do a little blending. I feel like I just blended all the shimmer away. I am struggling, you guys. I'm going back in with this other color, Power Cut, using my finger. Um, when I was trying to blend it into the other color, I lost the shimmer, so here we are again. Building it up, hopefully not gonna have a chunky dunk in her corner. I'm not like mad at this look. I think maybe I should have done a warm tone look because I'm a lot more used to working with warm tones right now. I'm not gonna like completely hate on the palette because cool tones are a different breed. You have to work with them completely differently. So with that being said, I'm not like super impressed with the shimmer, which is funny because at the beginning of this video, I was saying how nice the shimmers swatched. That obviously goes to show you, you cannot base a palette on how it swatches. You just cannot. I am gonna actually, for the last time, I'm gonna dip back into this green and just go right here to kind of blend these two colors together. So we have a nice blend. It's also actually bringing that green back out. A super little amount of fallout, so I am just not even mad at that. That's great. I hate working with dark colors that leave a bunch of fallout and stain your cheeks and make it look like you haven't slept in weeks after you just get done like slaving over your makeup. I'm just gonna smudge a little black on my lash line. I'm gonna use the color Temptress. I'm gonna just kind of, ooh, hello. That is a pigmented black. I'm gonna just kind of do one of these. Just kind of give a little bit of depth to the lash line because I am gonna put some lashes on. So I'm like using the very littlest bit of this black. It is super pigmented and I am just pushing that into my lash line. I might, you know I can't stay away from a wing. I might just like flick it just a little bit. Okay, now that is giving me fallout, dang it. 
I'm not gonna do a ton on my lower lash line, just a little of this green. I kind of like my lower lash line to not be like super busy. So I'm just popping the littlest bit of shadow down there so it doesn't look like I forgot, <laughs> but I'm not doing, not doing the most. This is just the same brush I've been using this whole time for the green. Um, what is this? This is a Morphe Y18. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Hourglass Caution Mascara. My skin is not looking that nice. I should have done my eyes before foundation. But I will say, I'm actually kind of happy with how this look turned out. I wasn't sure how I was gonna like it. I love the shape of this mascara wand. It's so good for your lower lashes. I just realized I forgot an inner corner highlight. So I'm gonna just use the same highlighter that I have on my cheeks. This is the one that Karen just collabed with Dose on. This is the color Soulmate. You guys, this is the best brush ever for an inner corner highlight. It is the Sigma Angled Pixel Concealer F69. I've had this for years. I don't know if they even still, I hope they still sell it because I'm just like hyping it up right now. It's so perfect for apply, it's dirty, just don't mind that. But it fits right into your inner corner like so perfectly. It gives you the perfect, look at this little like round dot in the center, can you see? I'm gonna actually pop some on my brow bone too. I am going to go find a pair of lashes to pop on for this look and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, here is the look. We just finished it up. All right, this is my lip combo for the lip liner. I used the Oh Snap liner from ColourPop. And then for the lipstick, I used the Viva Glam 2, I believe this is, from MAC. We're going for like a cool tone nude. And then to top it off and kind of like right in the center, I used the Barely There gloss from Dose of Colors and Karen. Holy cow, my hand looks insanely dry. I guess that's what happens when uh, everyone in your family is sick and you're trying to avoid it like the plague. So you wash your hands every five seconds. <laughs> but yeah, this is the finished look, you guys. I, I'm i not mad at it. I haven't tried every single palette. I've swatched every palette, but again, haven't applied every palette on the eye. I think it turned out really pretty. And I think this is the palette that most people were having trouble with. I can definitely see why. It was tricky. It was not super easy to work with. I will eventually try these other two. I wanted to get all of them. I don't, I guess the only place they're sold separately is Ulta. I like this one, but I just have so many warm tone palettes that I was just kind of like, you know, it, I'm not going to be mad at having it, but I wasn't like, I have to have this one. And then same with this purple one. I thought it was really pretty. Purples are not my favorite. I did really love this color right here. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to do a look with it. Just look how pretty that is. So stunning and it's so pigmented. Yeah, that one's a banger. Final verdict, my experience was good. The key is that you have to be really light-handed with it. That's just, it is what it is. These are insanely pigmented eyeshadows. You cannot swirl your brush around. If you are a swirler, I highly recommend you be a dipper <laughs> with these palettes because otherwise you're gonna have kickback everywhere. I did not have like any fallout, maybe like a few little flecks until the black. That's when I started getting some fallout, but I was using a more dense brush and I was packing it, kind of doing a like poking motion almost. So that's, you know, it's just inevitable. It's gonna happen so can I see why people are having an issue with this palette yes absolutely I think it's just a situation where you test out a product you start using it and then you adjust the way you apply your makeup to that product not every single product is going to feel the same I will say I really 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 was hoping that these formulas would be the same that was in her original palette I don't feel like they are her original palette is just my favorite it is probably my favorite palette that I own these were a little bit of a step down in the formula I'm not trying to be shady I love Jaclyn so much I'm I'm a huge fan of hers okay so anything negative is not meant to bash her it is literally just um, that I kind of prefer the other one more. I do kind of like how they broke it up into four palettes because the color story for each one just makes a lot of sense. I think the jury is still out on if every single palette was repressed or reformulated. A lot of people are thinking that that was not the case and they may have gotten an old formula. I don't think I did. I ordered straight from the Morphe website and these were definitely really, really smooth. The shimmers were super creamy. The only one I had trouble with was that one I tried to use on the inner corner and I think that was just a bad shadow. I mean, the blending I thought was pretty nice. I know a lot of people had trouble with the green, but I think that's one of those colors that you have to go in with a light hand and then build up. So this 
palette and these shadows definitely were a little bit more labor intensive to get a look like this, but that also could be just because I was using cool tones. I feel like warm tones tend to blend in with our skin a little bit more effortlessly, whereas the cool tones, when you place them down, they're pretty stark. So you really have to work and blend and blend and blend and blend and then blend some more. If you guys want to see me use a warm tone palette, let me know whether it's the, um, what are they called again? Why can I not remember these names? Ring the alarm or uh, Bling Boss, if you guys want to see me use either of those palettes, definitely let me know. So that's it. Let me know. Have you guys used the vault yet? If you have, I really, really want to know your experience. Let's try to keep the comment section a nice place. I know this is kind of like a heated topic right now. Um, so if you have an opinion, I know a lot of the opinions tend to be kind of strong on this right now. So let's be nice and respectful to everyone. But I would really, really like to know what your opinion on the vault is. If you've tried it, what your experience was like. Let me know all of that in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in my next video.